Hello and welcome to this English 1101 instructional tutorial video. Today we are going to cover the library website, how to pick your research topic, Boolean operators and how to use them, a sample Galileo search, and some research tips. So let's get started by going to the library webpage, which you can find at clayton.edu slash library. Once you arrive at the library's homepage, let's take a look at the box in the middle. You will notice this box has different tabs at the top with all kinds of features to help you with your research. The box automatically opens to the search tab. Now the search tab houses the Galileo at Clayton State multi-search. And this is going to search over 200 resources at once for you. So this is great for broad topics. Below that, you're going to see the alphabetic list of resources. This is where you will find our individual databases. So once you get into your disciplines, you're going to start using these for more specific research. The next tab we're going to look at is the Books tab. Here you can search the Clayton State University catalog for the books we have. Under the Journals tab, you're going to see a box for searching by journal title. Under the Multimedia tab, you'll find streaming videos and films. Under the Guides tab, you will find a series of electronic how-to guides for your different subject fields. You can search for your guide by subject. There is one for this class called English 1101. Here you're going to find some refreshers on the information we covered today and some tips for your research. If you ever have any questions, Click on the Research Help tab and you will see all the ways you can contact the librarians. You can email, call, chat, text, or make an appointment for in-depth research consultation. So now that we know all about the library website, let's talk about choosing a research topic. So choosing a topic is never as simple as picking a topic and writing about it. You must first do research to determine if there are enough or too many resources. Do you need to broaden or narrow your topic? So let's consider this the Goldilocks phase. You must find a topic that isn't too broad or isn't too narrow. We need to find one that is just right. So before we begin our sample Galileo search, let's first talk about Boolean operators and other database specific language that will improve your search. The following are examples of how you can use them. Boolean operators consist of OR, AND, or NOT. So CAT or DOG will find articles about cats or dogs. CAT and DOG will find articles talking about both. We use quotations to search for concepts as phrases. So quotations around CAT DOG will find articles about the Nickelodeon show CAT DOG. So this is what it looks like when you put it all together. Now we are researching for articles on cats or dogs and their attempts to take over the world. You can also put an asterisk after a portion of the word to look for various endings. We call this truncation. So here we truncated the word puppy, which will find various endings such as puppy, puppies, and puppets. Since we are looking for resources on dogs, we do not want articles on puppets. We can eliminate articles on puppets for our search by adding not puppets. So let's start our sample Galileo search. Let's say I want to write a paper on service dogs. I am going to put service dog in quotations since it is a phrase and truncate the word dog to find dogs as well. This is far too broad, bringing up over 80,000 results on all types of service dogs. 
So we need to narrow our topic. I have decided to search for military service dogs. Let's add another field to our search with various synonyms for soldier and truncate them with or in the middle so that it will find articles on service dogs with any of these synonyms. This is still too broad, bringing up over 10,000 results on service dogs assisting wounded veterans. So I decide to narrow my search again to military service dogs assisting veterans with PTSD. We need to add yet another search box. So we must insert PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder so we can find articles whether they refer to the disorder by its full name or the acronym. This topic is just right. We are turning around 300 results, which will be enough to write my paper, but not too many to sort through. So this is the research question we came up with through our search. What impact have therapy dogs had on military veterans diagnosed with PTSD? You can also complete this search in reverse by picking out the key concepts in this question and entering them into the search. So before we leave, I'm going to give you a few tips that will help you in writing an academic paper. Please remember that Google is not your friend. The results will be skewed by paid ads and organizations that will not give a balanced view of this topic. You should also not rely on Wikipedia articles since anyone can edit them and you can't be certain that the information is correct. However, Wikipedia references can be quite useful. You should look at these to see if there are any articles that may help with your paper. Please remember that if you ever have any questions, contact the library or check out the English 1101 libguide.